Speaker, I also rise today to recognize June as the National Portuguese Heritage Month. Representative Cox and I have introduced legislation along with the Portuguese Caucus to officially recognize the key role that Portuguese Americans have played in the growth of our nation and highlight their valuable and significant contributions to our society. Portugal was the first neutral nation to establish diplomatic ties with the United States over 240 years ago. They have contributed to every facet of American society, from the early whaling ships in New England to the introduction of agriculture throughout the country. They have served with distinction and proudly in our military and have been leaders in governments at every level in our country. In 1979, my friend Tony Quillo uh, was elected as the first American of Portuguese descent to the United States House of Representatives from California. In addition to lawmaking, Portuguese Americans have made lasting contributions to science, music, uh, and in other areas of business. Through people like former Secretary of Energy, nuclear physicist Ernest Moniz, and the famous March King, John Philip Sousa, who wrote the iconic song Stars and Stripes Forever as he headed the Marine Corps Band. There are also leaders in agriculture throughout our nation, in California, most notably in the dairy industry. The Portuguese American story is the American story of immigrants past and immigrants present who've come here through generations to have a better life for themselves and their families. Values that my own parents and grandparents instilled in myself and my sister that have never been far from my heart. That family and tradition, that ethic of hard work is important in our country for all immigrant groups. And realizing that with that ethic, anything can be accomplished in America. So I ask my colleagues today to join me in recognizing and celebrating the many ways in which the Portuguese American communities has changed and shaped and influenced our country through industries, but most importantly through their ideals and through their love of family and becoming a part of that American dream. Mr. Speaker,